Hi there, my name's Peter Baxter and I'm a heritage and schools expert. I love history, culture and creativity and I really like technology too. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can combine all of those things and more and share them with your family and friends. How are we going to do that exactly? By making a podcast. What's a podcast, I hear you ask? That's a good question. What is a podcast? Hmm. Is it a digital media file? Is it a radio show? Or is it a recording of someone speaking? Well, it's actually all of those things and more. Let's get started. We're going to show you two ways to make a podcast today. The first is the simple way, a live recording. And the second is a more complicated way. It's called multi-track recording. Remember to ask your parent or guardian for help, particularly if you're choosing to do part two. So why would we want to make a podcast and what is a podcast again? Okay, let's find out, shall we? Podcast is a compound word. It comes from a broadcast for an iPod, an iPod being an old MP3 player. And an MP3 file is essentially what a podcast is, a digital file. So you can think of some ideas you could make your podcast about. Maybe your favorite walk, your favorite place, or your favorite people. Maybe you could interview them and ask them questions. Another way to think of it is as a, a radio show, an internet radio show. And if you're thinking about it maybe as like YouTube, well, it is and it isn't because YouTube is a video and audio where a podcast is just audio. So why would you want to make a podcast? Well, maybe because you've got something to say or you could share stories about your favorite people and places and you can bring your hobbies and your passions to life or maybe give a voice to people who might not otherwise be heard or share and tell their stories. So here's an activity to get us started, because if we're going to make a podcast, it's a great idea to have something to make a podcast about. So grab a pen and paper and think about your favorite local place. Think about who your audience will be for this podcast. Is it your, your friends or your classmates? Write down some facts, Maybe how you feel when you go there, some words that you might like to describe the place. Is it green, beautiful, etc.? Some activities you can do when you get there. And after all this, perhaps you'll come up with a nice title. So here's an example. I live in Wicklow, and this is the Bray to Greystones Cliff Walk. So I'm going to make my podcast about that. I'm going to think my audience would be my friends. I'll come up with some facts. Maybe it's seven kilometers each way. It takes about two, two and a half hours, depending on how fit you are. And the railway line that it walks past was built by a very famous engineer called Isamard Kingdom Brunel and opened way back in 1856. When I'm walking on the walk, I feel really relaxed and happy. And I look down, I see all the birds nesting and it's just so green and lush, particularly when you come into Greystones and you see the fields. And then one of my favorite things to do is maybe have something to eat or a cup of tea and maybe an ice cream. Yeah, so that's my podcast and I'm going to call it Cliff Walk Talk. Hmm. Sometimes it's great to have a title that's kind of catchy, something that people remember and something that when you give your project a title, it's kind of something different then brings it to life now that we have this information we can use a simple template like this one and fill in the blanks so for example hello my name is Peter and welcome to cliff walk talk today I'm going to tell you about my favorite place it's called the cliff walk between Greystones and Bray I really like going there because it makes me feel happy and relaxed I like going on there because there's lots of nice things to see and do, like the old railway line, the birds nesting, the animals sometimes that you'll catch a glimpse of in the field, and just the beautiful wildflowers and scenery. It's a really interesting place with lots of history. For example, the railway line was built in 1865. That's amazing. So now we have our podcast ready to record. Let's find out how to do that. Let's get technical. 
Really all we need to make a podcast these days is a smartphone with some apps. You can have a computer, but you'd need a microphone as well. But a smartphone has one built in. And I'll be recording today on an iPhone or an iPad, and we'll be using an app that's on most Apple devices called GarageBand. But if you're using an Android, then you could look at BandLab or Soundtrap, both of which are great apps. BandLab is free, and Soundtrap is free for so many projects. I'm going to show you two ways to record. The first is a really simple way, and I'm using the Voice Memos app. So I select record and I say, hello, my name is Peter and welcome to the Cliff Walk Talk. When I finish recording, I can name my file. And then quite simply, I can press the three dots on the left, there the three blue dots and share and share it with another device or another person or share using one of many number of different apps. And that's the easiest way. The disadvantage of that, of course, is that I can't really edit what I'm doing very much. The advantage is that it's very quick and very simple. If you wanted to make a simple podcast, well, then that's what we've just done. We've learned how to make a podcast very simply. If, however, you wanted to make something a little bit more complicated, then stay tuned. Because in the next section, we're going to learn to do exactly that. This is a little bit more intricate and a little bit more complicated. So take your time and feel free to go back over any section you're not sure of. The other way to record is called multi-track recording. And this is more complicated. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use an app called GarageBand. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, it's most likely already on there or it'll be free to install. If you're using an Android device or a mobile, then I would recommend BandLab or Soundtrap. And they may not have exactly the same options, but the functionality will pretty much be the same. Now open the file. Remember, GarageBand is primarily a music making app, so I need to change the default length from 8 bars to automatic and to turn off the metronome. This will enable me to record for as long as I like and also mean that we're not having the annoying sound of a metronome. If I move the cursor out till around four, that will allow me enough space to put in an introduction section later on, some music perhaps. There's a series of four clicks to count me in, and then I can record. Let's have a listen. Hello and welcome to my podcast. My name's Peter and today we'll be doing a podcast about how to make a podcast. Now I can select some loops from the library to use for my intro music. To audition or review a file, I just need to click on it. And then I can use it in my song by selecting and dragging it to the edit section on the left. Now I'll select another loop, something with the melody, the electric piano. If I drop it directly under the other loop, they will sync and play in time. Hello and welcome to my podcast. My name's Peter and today we'll be doing a podcast about how to make a podcast. How to make a podcast. Now I'll record some audio. I'll just mute it as I do so. You'll hear it when I play it back. Now I'll record some links and another section. Let's go over to Peter and find out exactly what a podcast is. Peter and find out exactly what a podcast is. Well, thanks, Peter. A that noise is called phasing. So when two files play over each other, you hear a hiss. And that's very easy to edit out. You simply select one file and shorten it exactly what a podcast is. 
Well, thanks, Peter. A podcast is a broadcast for your iPod. I've used the sample template for my podcast, which would be how a normal radio show might be formatted. But feel free to ignore that template and create your own. Welcome to my podcast. My name's Peter and today we'll be talking about how to make a podcast. So first up, let's start with the introduction. Thank you. An introduction is the beginning of our podcast. It's where we would introduce ourselves, our topic, and go through what and outline exactly what's going to happen in our podcast. You can see there's a mistake. I'm going to go back and edit that. I move the cursor across, I double tap on the file, select split, and a pair of scissors appear. I then drag the scissors, cutting the file where I need it to be cut, slide down and edit the actual audio file. Then I'm bringing in my music loop at the end. So let's have a listen and see how that sounds now. Welcome to my podcast. My name's Peter and today we'll be talking about how to make a podcast. So first up, let's start with the introduction. Thank you. An introduction is the beginning of our podcast. It's where we would introduce ourselves, our topic, and outline exactly what's going to happen in our podcast. Now to share the file. To do that, press my songs in the top left. Then you'll be presented with an option to share, select song, and high or medium quality is usually fine. And if I go through here, it'll give me a list of options that I can share with. And they're usually the apps that you might already have on your phone, say SoundCloud, or you can copy it onto your drive in something like Google Drive or Dropbox or AirDrop it. As you go across here, what I'm going to actually do is send it as an email. So I can select Gmail there, an email and it will automatically attach. I don't have to think about what size because it will automatically format in that size. Send an email, change the text, and away we go. And that is the more complicated way to make a podcast and to share it. But I hope that you see the very simple way is simple. And really, technology is just the tool. What's going to make your podcast great is your story about where you live and where you love. Best wishes, and I hope you enjoy making your podcasts.